Hello. What are the 13 most frequently asked fitness questions? That's what we're going to talk about today. I don't think I can get through all 13 of them because I am citing a reference which I will put into the description box um, linked for you, but I'm sure I'll have opinions, so it might take us a while. Hop in. We are going to do this as we stretch because that's what goes on on this channel. I'm dressed this way because, well, that's what we do on this channel. So I want you to start just by settling in. I want you to deliberately press your arms to the side of your body. Your palms are forward, your shoulders are down. You're gonna breathe deeply all the way in. And let it all out. This is a safe place for you to recharge yourself during the day. You're not bringing your work in here. You're not worried about anything. We are just going to have some small talk while we stretch, okay? <sighs> Breathe it up. We're going to bring cactus arms down. Now when you do this, I want you to drive those shoulder blades together deliberately. Press your chest out. This is definitely a chest opener. And breathe. Okay, we're just going to do this a few times. Okay, so the number one frequently asked fitness question is, how often do I exercise? Well, this depends a lot on your fitness goals, of course, but you know, you got to start. So how do you start? You start with three to five times a week. I just looked at my notes. It's two to three times a week. My bad. Two to three times a week, progressively four to six as you move through time. Okay, I want you to hold your hands, clasp your hands overhead, and we're just going to bend right and left as far as fits your capabilities. Oh, as we chat, give yourself time with this. Let the side of your body stretch out. Do whatever you gotta do to hold your core very, very tight. You're gonna be pressing your navel back to your spine. <sighs> and most of all, you're relaxing. Oh, you're gonna take it over to the left. Okay, so when you are starting out and you're doing that two to three times a week, you're progressing to four to six, you're also gonna add in some gentle movements along the way. Maybe you take an additional walk. Maybe you do some gentle yoga. Maybe some cycling, you know, that kind of thing. Okay, we're gonna move into a standing back bend. And to do this, you're gonna move your hands to the uh, lower part of your back, upper part of your bum. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna press your hips forward. Let yourself relax into this. Take a minute for this. This is so worth it. You need to be, um, you know, if, if think about a standing back bend, but I, you know, you, you should be looking up, but mostly you need to work on those hips. Press them forward to where you can feel that release. It's just so great. I want you to find it. <sighs> Okay, we're going to move into a forward fold, um, just kind of pressing forward. You're going to reach your arms, reach, 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 keep reaching, straighten your legs. You can have a little soft bend in there, and but I want you to get into the place where you're starting to feel that stretch down the back of your legs. You're going to work a little fatigue into your body by holding your arms out like this. And we are just going to stay here for a minute. How long? Nope, nope. Uh, that was number three. Number two is what time of day should I exercise? Okay, we're going to move into a standing lunge for your hip flexors. Your right foot's coming forward. You're bending that knee. Your left foot is behind you. Your hands are on your waist. And you're just gonna let that left hip flexor stretch. You're gonna let a little heat build into this right leg. Now you're gonna 
going to reach over. You're reaching over the side that's bent. So what time of day works best? You know, I have my opinions, but basically based on this article, any time of day that you can possibly work the movement in. If you can't do it all at once, that's okay. Break it up into some sound bites, maybe 10, 15 minutes, maybe seven minutes, you following me? Uh, several times a day. And that's just fine too. You do not need to do it all at once. In fact, I believe those sound bites of exercise get you further than going all day and then working out once at night. Um, that's my opinion. Okay, uh, you're going to shift that left foot forward, right foot back. We're going to just keep the left leg straight. You're going to be stretching out that hamstring. Flex that left foot. Just puts a little bit of a different spin on those muscles for you. Okay, other side. We're going to take that right, the left leg forward, right leg back, and we're going to hang out here for a minute and let that hip flexor stretch, build a little heat into this left leg. Okay, how long should our workouts be? Okay, so on the cardio, now really there was only a suggestion here for the cardio aspect of it, and you have to kind of think about, am I going to be moderate? Or am I going to be vigorous? So if I'm going to be moderate, okay, take that right hand over. You're, you're bending over the bent leg. If you're going to do moderate, then you need to do three to five hours per week. That would be long walks. Maybe that's biking. Maybe it's cycling. You know, whatever you do. Okay, we're just going to step that right foot forward. Um, left leg back. We're going to flex that right foot and get that amazing hamstring stretch down the right side of your body. If you're going to um, do your cardio vigorously, of course you can do it a shorter amount of time. And they're suggesting one and a half to two and a half hours per week. Um, but remember, some movement is better than no movement. So whatever you're doing, um, just do it to the best of your ability and you're going to keep progressing. That, I think that's the key. Okay, so we are going to um, move into a kind of a sumo position, meaning your legs are going to be uh, farther out than your shoulders. We're going to turn towards the right. Your left foot is parallel. Your right foot is facing the wall and we're going to move into a warrior two. Oh, nothing like a little yoga in the middle of the day. Um, okay, so number four is do I warm up? Nah. You know, I know that I probably shouldn't say that, but I can tell you I'm 60 years old. I've never been really big on warming up. I've been more about stretching, 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 but the recommendation is, okay, reverse warrior for me. You're going to support yourself back on your left leg. You're going to look up. Oh, this just feels so strong and wonderful, doesn't it? Oh, I love it. Five minute warm up is recommended. Just, you know, light stretching, maybe a little cardio, but not full out and only five minutes. So there you have it. Okay. You're going to rest yourself on your right arm. You're going to peel that left arm back. You're going to reach overhead and you're going to look at the ceiling. And you're going to hang out here for a minute. Ooh. Okay, we're going to switch and reverse it over to the left side. Your left foot is facing the left wall. Your right leg is parallel. Your arms are out into a warrior two. Okay, so number five is should I do cardio or should I do strength? Well, I'm going to tell you, you need both. But what are the benefits of either? Um, so the strength training actually really surprised me when I looked at this. Um, gosh, th this definitely insinuates, please do not be remiss with muscle training. <laughs> okay, we're gonna reverse warrior. You're supporting yourself with your right hand. You're lifting your left arm up and you're looking up. Ooh. Now you're gonna windmill down, support yourself on your left leg with your left arm. You're going to peel your right arm back, 
reach towards the ceiling, look up. Strength training, increased muscles, stronger bones, increased metabolism, better posture, better balance, and joint flexibility. Let me tell you guys, at this stage of the game, we need to be doing some muscle training. Okay, I want you to bring it up. I want you to reposition yourself like we were at the beginning. I want you to breathe up and come down in cactus arms. Oh, cardio. What benefits do you get from cardio? You get, uh, you promote heart, skin, and lung health. You improve your sleep. You improve your energy levels. Um, cardio is fabulous, I swear. Those endorphin releases, I have been addicted to that for my entire life. Um, so I'll just do one more. Okay. Cactus arms. Okay, let's just bend to the side while I do that. So you're clasping your hands. You're going to bend to the right. Um, so should I lift weights for strength training? Well, strength training is resistance training. So you're going to need to do something, and you've got three choices. You can use the gym machines. You can use free weights. Or you can use your body weight. And any one of the three, okay, switch it over to the left. I think if you tried, gosh, about any workout that you could find online, um, your body weight is sufficient for sure. Okay, thank you so much for hanging out with me. This is your reset for today. A very, very happy Thursday. I want to just tell you that you are amazing today. It's been a little while since I told you guys that. When I started out on this journey, it was mostly just to let people know how fabulous they were. Thank you for your time. Thank you for hanging out with me. Don't forget to like, and I'm going to see you tomorrow.